Open the lens cover for filming. The power switch is on the side of the camera. The switch has a green button. Press and hold the green button with your thumb and then the power switch to on position. The camera records the videos to a memory card. There are two memory card slots at the back of the camera. The green light shows the active recording card. You can choose the recording card with A and B buttons. Don't remove the card when the card slot light is red. You can view the camera picture with the LCD display. You can also use the viewfinder. The focus of the viewfinder is adjusted below the viewfinder. By pushing the menu button, you can view and change the camera settings. You use the arrow buttons to move in the menus. Choices are confirmed with the EXEC button. Push the menu button again to exit the menu. For more information, you'll find the manual in the camera bag. The camera's battery is recharged with a power cord, which is in the camera bag. You start the recording by pushing the REC button. This button is located on the side and on the top of the camera. When the recording is on, the LCD display displays the text REC. On the back and front of the camera, you can see the recording lights. Recording is stopped by pushing the record button again. There are three rings at the front of the camera. The outer one is the focus ring, the middle one is the zoom ring, and the innermost is the iris ring. The focus ring and the iris ring can only be used in the manual modes of the camera. When you turn the zoom ring, you change the focal length of the lens. The camera also has two zoom buttons, one on the top and the other one on the side. The top zoom button has three modes. In the fixed mode, the camera will zoom at a steady rate. The rate is set using the menu and its camera set options. In variable mode, the zooming rate depends on the strength of the button push. In off mode, the button is not in use. To use the focus ring, you flip the manual focus switch on. Sometimes the autofocus doesn't work the way you want. In those cases, you have the option of using manual focusing. When you are focusing manually, the LCD display shows the focus distance. The iris ring can be used only in the manual mode. In this mode, the user has to set the camera's white balance in addition to the aperture size. <music> to record sound, you can use the internal microphone of the camera or an external microphone. The external microphone is connected to the camera's input jack. The audio settings are adjusted using the side panel of the camera. You make the adjustments for the left and the right channel separately. To record with the internal mic, flip both of the channel switches to int mic position. The camera adjusts the audio recording levels automatically. The bars in the LCD show the volume levels. If the bars go red, the audio will have unwanted distortion. Use headphones to check the audio levels and audio quality. You can record audio with an external microphone. Turn on the microphone before recording. If you record, for example, an interview with one external microphone, connect it to input 1 jack. After this, flip both of the channel switches to input 1 position. The camera will record the same audio to both channels. You can also set the audio recording levels manually. Flip the level switches to manual mode and set the audio levels with the disc controllers. When recording with two external microphones, 
Flip the channel switches to input 1 and input 2 positions after connecting the microphones. The metal part on the top of the microphone connector must be pushed down to unplug the microphone. Hold the camera firmly when shooting handheld. In handheld shooting it is good to switch on the camera's steady shot function. Push the menu button and navigate to the steady shot setting with the arrow buttons. Steady shot will stabilize the image when the camera shakes. When shooting with a tripod, it's best to turn off the steady shot function. Push the menu button to exit the menu. Turn open the tripod locking mechanism before attaching the camera. First insert the tip of the quick release plate into the hole on the tripod head. Then turn the camera to true level and the plate will click into place. Remember to turn the locking pin to the locked position so that the camera won't detach accidentally. When you want to remove the camera from the tripod, open the pin and turn the lever. Push the visual index button and you can watch the recorded videos. Use the touch screen to browse and preview the videos. If you want to delete videos, do it only using the camera functions. When in the visual index menu, push the menu button and choose delete with the arrow buttons. On the touch screen, mark the videos you want to delete. Push OK and accept the removal. Push the visual index button again and you get back to the normal view. Make sure that the camera's power is on. Find the grey USB cable in the camera bag. First, attach the USB cable to the camera and then to the computer. On the LCD, choose A or B memory card depending on which card you recorded the videos to. Navigate to your computer and you will see the camera's memory card as a separate hard disk. Inside the card window, go to the AVCHD folder, then to BDMV folder, and finally the videos can be found in the stream folder. The videos have MTS file extension. Copy the videos to your computer's hard drive. Don't delete videos from the card using your computer. Delete videos only using the menus in the camera. When the video transfer is finished and you want to disconnect the camera, push end on the LCD and on your computer select remove USB device. The device name is Handicam. After this, unplug the USB cable from the computer and select Yes on the LCD. The camera will return to its normal state. When shooting in bright light or at a bright target, the text ND can appear flashing on the camera's LCD. It indicates that it may be good to turn on the ND filter that prevents overexposure of the image. The ND filter has three levels. You can get help markers to appear on the LCD. Push the menu button and navigate to the display set menu. Choose marker and turn them on. These markers won't show up in the actual recorded videos.